Hey, what's up everyone? I am Jacqueline Schultz and I am back with another product to review for you today and I am so stoked about this product but I am always really excited about the products that I am reviewing for you, otherwise I wouldn't have purchased it. Today's product is the iRobot Brava Mop. Dun da da da! Look how cute and compact and little and amazing this is. The whole reason why I decided to get this mop is because I previously got the iRobot vacuum. I actually even did a review on the iRobot vacuum, which I will put the link below if you're interested in looking into that. But I loved it so much that I decided to get a second one for my upstairs. When I started researching different models for my second vacuum, I came across this mop and I was like, what the heck? They have a machine that will mop my house for me. I need it. So I bought it and I got it. And now I'm going to tell you about it. All right. So while I was looking into these mops, I realized there were three different models that iRobot makes. And I decided to stick with iRobot because like I told you, I tried the vacuum. I loved it. So I'm like, I'm just going to stick with this brand. The three models are as follows. The iRobot BravaJet 240 Superior Robot Mop. This is the cheapest one. Then comes the one I got, which is the middle tiered one. It's called the iRobot Brava 380T Advanced Robot Mop. Then the most expensive one, which is crazy, is like $500. It's the iRobot BravaJet M6. I actually went on YouTube and I watched a review from Vacuum Wars and they compared all three models and I took what they said into consideration before finally deciding on mine. I'm going to put the link to that video in the description if you want more details about the comparisons between all three models. The reason why I went with this one as opposed to the other two models, well, besides the fact that one of them was just way out of my price range. But I went with this one because the other two models sprayed the liquid in front of the robot. This was the only one that soaked the pad and had the liquid or the water, whoa, had the liquid or the water coming out of the bottom. It might be crazy that that is the deciding factor, but I started thinking about the fact that I have kids, I have a new little puppy. I just didn't want any liquid or cleaning solution or whatever it is that I put in here being sprayed onto toys, being sprayed in front of it. If my puppy was in front of it, anything like that, I didn't want that sprayed all over my house. Is that crazy that that was my deciding factor? Anywho, once I got it, I ripped this sucker right out of the box. I was so excited to finally open it and give it a try. So when I took it out of the box, I was a little bit confused about all the parts. I mean, granted, I didn't really read the instructions or the manual, but that's because the iRobot vacuums, when I took it out of the box, it was so simple. It was just like, take it out and go. This one had a lot more little parts that I had to figure out, but it only took me like 15 minutes, not that long. It wasn't that complicated. It came with the iRobot mop itself. It came with the charging cord and the charging dock. It came with two different pad attachments. One of them is for a dry cloth for sweeping dust and dirt, which I forgot to say that it has a sweeping mode. The other one is for the mopping mode. So this is where you attach the wet mop. It came with one cloth for sweeping, and then it came with the other cloth for mopping. This is the one you get wet. Last but not least is the North Star Navigation Cube that connects to your iRobot mop and it lets it know where it's already been and where it needs to go. This is kind of just placed in the center of your room somewhere on a counter so it has a clear view of the ceiling and it will mop all around that thing so it gets every aspect of your room. The first thing you have to do is you plug in the charging station and you dock your iRobot on there for about two hours. It takes two hours to fully charge every single time. When it's done, you pick whether you want to sweep or whether you want to mop. I'll show you how you attach both the attachments. If you want to sweep, you take out this 
pad, this attachment, and this cloth, and you just stick it on. And then you tuck it into the crevices. It kind of reminds me of a Swiffer, if you've ever used a Swiffer before. As a matter of fact, you can use Swiffer pads on here. This is magnetic, so it easily just locks on like this. Done. Then you press sweep. It connects to the cube and you let it go. <laughs> when it is in sweep mode, it will just go straight lines back and forth and cover all your floors. By the way, this machine works on hardwood, on stone, on tile, on any really hard surface. Then you take this off and you can throw this in the wash. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Like I said, you can buy Swiffers or you can just take your own cloth and cut it to size and put it in here. They have disposable ones, they have reusable ones. You don't even have to use the iRobot cloths. If you want to mop, you take this pad right here and you can open up this cap and you fill it up with water. Now you could fill it up with regular water or you could put some kind of cleaning solution in there. When I was doing my research, I actually found that iRobot has its own hardwood tile, hard floor cleaning solution, so I bought that. I don't know if it's any better than using like vinegar or your own cleaning solution, but this is the one that I've been using and you only need about two capfuls and you mix it with the water and you fill this up and then you close it back up. Now the cool thing about this pad is right here, it releases the water and the cleaning solution throughout the whole mopping process instead of like that spraying thing that I was talking about earlier in the review, in the video. This is where it releases the water slowly into this cloth. It says in the instructions that you're supposed to get this damp. Do not get it damp. You get this wet. I tried it a little bit damp, uh, 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 uh. it doesn't work as good. You get this soaking wet. Then again, it is magnet, so it will attach on, like so. Ta-da! You press mop, which is that little water droplet. And then once again, you set it free and let it go. When it is in mopping mode, it is not like the sweeping mode. It will not go back and forth in straight lines. Instead, it will kind of make a Y motion. So it goes over the same spot a few times to get up and soak up all that grime and dirt and grossness that you need to get up when you're mopping. I have noticed when I'm using it that it is awesome. It goes in all the creases, it goes in all the crevices, it is small enough to fit under my chairs and my couches. It pretty much navigates the whole entire room around wherever this cube is and it doesn't really miss a spot. And then when it runs out of batteries, it shuts off wherever you first put it down, makes a little noise, you come get it and you put it back on its charging station. It does not go back to its charging station all by itself. You have to actually go and put it back on its charging station, remove the pad, take off the cloth, and drop it in the wash. Or if it's a disposable one, you drop it in the trash. The cool thing is you can buy multiple cubes and put them around your house. So it extends the area in which your mop will mop. However, there are some downfalls to that. Number one, it takes a pretty long time for it to clean the entire room, my entire kitchen where this cube is, and it usually runs out of charge by the time it's done. I think if I were to place multiple cubes around the house, it would still run out of batteries and I would still need to go pick it up and charge it before it could actually go into another room anyways. So at that point, it's not even worth getting multiple cubes. The number two reason why I wouldn't get another cube is because by the time it is done cleaning my kitchen, it is pretty gross and grimy and dirty. The dirtier this gets, the more likely that you will start to see streaks 
when it is mopping your floor. If your floors are really gross, really grimy, really dirty, then it's just gonna start to spread it around. So it's probably a good thing that it only cleans one room, it doesn't get so dirty, and then you can change out the pad. The number three reason why we don't need another cube or we don't need it going all around the house is because it has this really cool built-in technology where it doesn't go over any carpets or rugs. But that also means that it won't go over any... Oh, how am I forgetting this word again? I forgot it last time when I did the review with my iRobot vacuum. But it won't go over any like ledges or lips or dividers of rooms because it is trained. It has that technology that it won't go over anything because it thinks it's like a rug or a carpet. So if you have those around your house, it won't really mop around your house anyways. It'll probably stick to that one room. Also, I do have to mention that this one in particular does not hook up to my iRobot app which I knew I was fine with when I decided to buy it. I don't need it to hook up to my iRobot app. The most expensive one hooks up to an app and has like the craziest technology where you could assign it to different rooms of your house and it'll show you the layout of your house and show you exactly where it already mopped and like where it's going to go to next and you can set times for different rooms. It's like insane, but I don't need that. I'm cool with less technology on this thing. So my overall thoughts on this product. I personally, after using it for two weeks, love it. I've used it in my kitchen every day without fail. I even purchased 10 extra reusable pads so that I can use it every single day and I won't run out before the next wash. I also have a Shark Steam Mop I just gotta say, this does not replace my Shark Steam Mop. However, I am using it a lot less. I love my Shark Steam Mop. I was using it every single night, but now that I'm using this every single day, I have only used it twice in the past two weeks. I still feel as though that Shark Steam Mop gets way more dirt and grime out of my floors than this does, especially since it uses hot steam and hot steam typically kills more bacteria and germs than just water and solution alone. But the fact that I don't have to use my muscles to mop my whole floor every single night and my house is still staying relatively clean is a win. Plus this thing is like silent, silent, silent. Not like my iRobot vacuum that I have. You can hear that thing going throughout the house into each room. This one right here, you can't hear it all. This to me is a lifesaver. It just takes one more job off my plate. I can get some cleaning done and I don't even have to lift a finger. If you are interested in checking out this product, this iRobot Brava mop, then I will put the link in my description. I'm also gonna put the link to my whole Amazon shop where I have my other iRobot vacuum that I recently reviewed in there. I also have my Shark Steam Mop in there. Pretty much just everything I love and I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I said, the whole reason why I discovered this iRobot mop is because I was looking for a second iRobot vacuum, which I found. It is a different model than the one I previously reviewed. It is a newer model, a more high-tech model. If you are interested in me reviewing that one as well for you so that you can kind of see the difference, let me know in the comment section and maybe I will do that for an upcoming review. If you enjoyed this review and you like just seeing new products and you may enjoy my channel, so don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button, turn on notifications so that you never miss a video, you can like this, do all the fun stuff that you do on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again next time, next week, next Friday for our next review. Bye.